Hi everyone, I'm Katie from the Aronets Podcast and I'm so excited to announce the upcoming spin along that I'm going to be co-hosting along with Taylor from the Wool Needles Hands Podcast and Joy from the Anxious Knitter Podcast. This is a drop spindle spin along that we're calling Spin For All 2017. It's going to be running from June 1st through August 1st. So if you've never picked up a drop spindle before but have been thinking about it, this is the spin along for you. Joy, Taylor, and I are all true beginners when it comes to spinning with our drop spindle we're really enjoying the process so far and we just wanted to share our journey with everyone and hopefully encourage and inspire some of you out there in the fiber community who have been thinking about spinning with a drop spindle to just get out there and try it. This spin along is perfect for beginners and it's also perfect for experienced spinners on drop spindles as well. I'm gonna pass things over to Joy now. She's gonna give you some more details about the spin along. Over to you, Joy. Thanks, Katie. So let's talk some rules and requirements. There aren't many, but there are a couple. One drop spindles only. Sorry wheel spinners, but this is just for the drop spindle. Doesn't matter what kind of drop spindle you're using, bottom whorl, top whorl, Turkish spindle. If there's another kind of spindle that I don't know about, which is totally possible because I'm a total noob, spindles only. Two, works in progress are allowed. Yes, so that means if you have started something recently or maybe you started something like five years ago and your drop spindle's been gathering dust in the corner, you can bring that baby right back out and finish her up. Yes, isn't that awesome? I love works in progress. Three, we have no weight requirement, so you don't have to worry about spinning four ounces or eight ounces or whatever ounces of fiber. You just need to ply whatever you've spun by the end date. That means getting your spindle out, two ply, three ply, four ply. I don't know, I don't know what's possible. Use your imaginations, I guess. It's gonna be awesome. So just make sure that whatever you've spun, you put your singles into something plied, skein that baby up, use your nitty naughty, soak it. I watched a tutorial. So that's it folks. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, am I right? So why don't I just send it right on over to Taylor at Wool Needles Hands Headquarters. Take it away, Taylor. Thanks, Joy. Yeah, guys, so just remember that you can participate in this by going to any of the chatter threads on any of our podcast Ravelry pages and chatting up your experience there. You can ask some questions, you can share some frustrations, because we know there's going to be lots of those. Like Joy mentioned, we are all complete noobs, and that's the whole purpose of this, is to get into it knowing that you are new to it, you have probably no idea or limited idea what you're doing, and we can chat about all of that over on the Ravelry group. So make sure to join each of the chatter threads. Also, don't forget to be a subscriber, like our video, and just get involved. When we've reached the spin along deadline, all of the finished objects, which are going to be your hand spun, will be featured in the finished object thread on each of our Ravelry pages for our podcasts, and we will choose randomly from each of those for the winner. And you can definitely triple dip and enter into each of our FO threads on our Ravelry pages. Also, don't forget, if you're gonna take pictures of your home spun, anything that you're doing with this, if you're starting to ply, whatever it is, even if you want to just take pictures of your drop spindle and your fiber before you get started, definitely do it. And on Instagram, put in that hashtag. It is hashtag spin for all 2017. And don't forget to join each of our Ravelry groups so you can definitely stay involved in the spin along as we go. I am so excited to get involved in this. This is my first hand spun that I started to do and I'm really excited to actually work on it with you guys as a community and we can share our experiences together because it is a really awesome craft. I'm so thankful that I'm gonna start um, doing this with you guys and with Joy and with Katie. So get involved. If you're new to spinning and you want some people to kind of share in that process with you, here we are, let's do it together. And we are so excited to be a part of this with you guys. All right, I'm gonna send it back to Katie to wrap this up and we look forward to seeing you guys for hashtag spin for all 2017. Bye. Thanks Taylor. So we hope that you'll be able to join us as we journey into the world of drop spindles for the first time. Remember the spin along runs from June 1st through August 1st, so you have plenty of time to get your drop spindles ready and pick out your fiber. Until then, happy spinning, and we'll see you soon.